My name is Cheryl, and I'd like to welcome you to this segment where I'm going to be doing some cardio strength training for you with Thrivewell. If you'd like to have some music in the background, I certainly recommend something from about 120 to 128 beats per minute. Um, make sure that you do have water close by so you can stay hydrated. If you have any light hand weights, that would be great. You can always substitute water bottles or you just use body weight. If you happen to have a mat or a towel for some point when we go down on the floor, we'll do a little bit of core as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, we're gonna get started with this warm up. Roll back those shoulders. Take them forward for four. All right, we got a little jab forward. It's easy and slow, just warming up shoulders. Cross it to the corners. All right, let's hook it straight across, parallel to the ground. Some uppercuts, drop that shoulder, pull it up. Keep it going. All right, we got step, touch, step, touch. Open, close, really open up that chest, breathing in and out. All right, side to side. Just picking up that heart rate. All right, from the top again. Take it forward, shoulders. Jab it forward for four. Now cross it for the corners. Hook it right across the cheek. Uppercuts. All right, open that hip, right side, left side. Take it up. Low kicks to the front. Back, back, and get up. Two more. Open that hip for four. All right, we're gonna lunge to your right. Take it down, push your back. Other side, really get that inner thigh stretch. Let's do some singles, right, left, right, left, right, and left. Couple more. Last one, bring it up. Little jump rope, light on the feet. Use those arms. All right, we're going to jumping jacks. You can step it out or you can actually jump it. Soft on the feet, turn to the right, to the back. Turn it, four, three, two, one. All right, if you're ready, we're gonna grab those weights. We're gonna work on upper body. Feet are about hip width apart. Relax shoulders, belly button, spine, biceps. It comes up for a count for four, three, two, one straight up, press. Palms are facing you, down, three, two, one, reverse it. Again, slow. Take it up, three, two, one. Back to shoulders, release. We got tempo, it comes up, press, shoulders and down. Keep it going. Make sure you got that belly button to spine. Inhale, exhale. Almost there. All right, roll it out. This time we hit the corners, biceps, and side lateral. It's slow for four. Take it up. Four, three, two, one and down. Side lateral, lift it. Four, 
three, just a shoulder height. Pick it up. One more side lateral slow. Flip those palms. Now tempo, here we go. Bicep, side, bicep, side. That's it. Try to control it. Don't swing those arms. If you get tired, set the weights down and just use body weight. One more set. All right, we're gonna get a little bit of triceps. Slight bend in the knees, pushing your backside back. Arms are parallel to the ceiling and the movement is through the elbows. Ready, both arms goes back and forward. Back. Make sure you exhale on that exertion. Four, three, two, and one. Take it up. All right, last set. We start with our palms facing our body, arms are down. We've got supine. It comes in like this for four, and down for four. Now, frontal raise. Woo, control it. One more set slow. Four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two. Straight up in front, shoulder height. Take it down. Now tempo, it goes up, down. Front and down. Supine. We can just have a couple more. Last set and take it up. All right, weights are gonna go off to the side. We're having a little bit of a cardio burst. So we're gonna take that heart rate up. We're gonna start on the right side. It's gonna be out, cross, out, cross, out, center, two, jacks. Ready? Set it up. Out, cross, out, back, out, center, and two. Other side, out, cross, out, back. Center with two. To our right for four. Four cross jacks. Back, two, three, cross it, four. Three, two, keep it going. Cross jacks. All right, we go back to the top, step it out on the right, four, three, two, and we start. It goes out, cross front, out, cross back, to the center, and two. If it's too much a jump, you can always step it out. One and two. Two jacks, out, cross front, out, cross back. Now to your right, four, four cross jacks for four. Three, two, and one, take it back. March it. We got another round. Little jog before we start, keeping that heart rate up. All right, from the top, on the right, four, three, two, one. Out, cross, front, out, cross, back. Two. Another round. Four.
four. Four cross jacks. Four back. Cross it. Almost there. And that's it. All right, so heart rate should be up. Make sure that you're still moving slightly on your feet. You don't wanna have a sudden drop. Get a drink of water, hydrate. We're gonna grab our weights. We're gonna work a little bit on our lower body. You can use one weight, two weights, or if you prefer, just body weight. We're gonna take a wide stance, sitting that weight back on your heels. Weights are in front of you. We're gonna sit it down for four and then bring it up four. Relax shoulders, belly button, spine. Take it down. Four, three, two, squeeze those glutes. Take it down. Take it down again. Last time. All right, step it together. We've got front lunge. On the right side, we go front, together, side. Reverse lunge. Now curtsy on that right, take it back. Left side, front lunge, take it side and squat. Reverse lunge, now curtsy. Speed it up, right side. Reverse, curtsy. Left side, take it front. Side, reverse, curtsy. One more round, right. Left side, front, squat, reverse, curtsy. All right, take those feet wide, arms are down, toes are pointed out, sumo squat. Take it down, four and up, four. Take it down, three, two, one, and up. Squeeze on the way up. Take it down. Making sure that you're sitting back so that you don't have any kind of strain on the lower back. Try not to lock out those knees on the way up. Again. Last one. Let's bring those feet together. We're gonna to take it around one more time. On the right side, we got lunge. Squat to the side. Reverse lunge. Curtsy. Now left lunge. It's slow at first. Reverse, curtsy, front, side, reverse, and curtsy, left side, forward lunge, squat it, reverse, and curtsy. One more round each side. All right, gently bring those weights down. We're gonna set those down for a moment and get our mat. Still working on lower body. Mat or towel, you're gonna to go ahead and spread this out. We're gonna have fire hydrants to work on that side, our hip flexors, and also um, glutes. All righty. So we're gonna set it up, all fours. Knees should be underneath hips. Hands should be aligned underneath shoulders. Your eyesight should be slightly above where your hands are at. 
Let's get the music. All right. So for fire hydrants, we're gonna start on the right side. That leg's gonna come up two. Let me face you for just a moment. It's gonna come up through two count, so it's parallel to the ground. Open two, close two, and then bring it down two. Then we do the other side, ready? Here we go. Up two, open two, close two, and down two. And up two, open two, close two, down two more. Up two, open, down. And down. Last time, two count. Knee comes up, push back. Up, push straight back with that heel. Try to keep those hips facing the ground. Now keep it here for hydrants. It's gonna come up, open, close, down, and two pulses. We're gonna speed it up in just a moment. And out, in, out, in, push away with that heel. All right, set it up. It comes up, open, now pulse for two, and two. Up, open, close, down, and pulse. Pulse again, up, open, close, down, and pulse. One more set. All right, sit that back in child's pose for just a moment. Good stretch, we're gonna reach with those hands. We've got the other side. Make sure that knees are underneath hips, hands are underneath shoulders. Left side comes up for two. Goes up, two, open, two, close, two, and down, two, again. Two more times, slow. Last one. All right, knee comes in, push back, my heel. Push in and back, in and back. We set it up, it comes up, double time, ready? Here we go. It comes up, open, close, down, and pulse two. Up, open, close, down, and pulse two. Two more rounds. Up, open, close, down, and pulse. Last one, last one, up, Open, two. Knee comes up, push back with the heel, straight back. Make sure you're looking down, right at your fingertips. Knees underneath hips, sit it back in child's pose. Really stretch out those arms. Get a good stretch on those legs. All right, very gently, take it back onto the balls of your feet. Step wide apart. Roll up that back, slowly tuck that chin, because that should be last. All right, we grab those weights, couple squats to finish this off the lower body, side to side. You can have one weight, two weights, or no weight. We go right and left, right, center, and left, center. Push it back, weight should be on the heels. Inhale, exhale on the way up. We just have a few more. One more on the left. All right, lower body is done. Make sure you hydrate if you like. We're gonna go ahead and put those weights off to the side. We're gonna do a little bit of core, so we are gonna need the mat and the towel. We're gonna take it down onto our back. So as we get down into our back, we wanna make sure that our lower back is pressed down into the mat. Knees are gonna be up. We're gonna do a slight pulse. We're gonna have four slight pulses. Little work, make sure that you push that belly button down to the floor. And then we're going to get opposite elbow, opposite knee for four, ready? Set it up. Four, three, two, and one. Now knees. Four, three, two, and one. Again, four. Knees, four. Again. Now knees, four, three, 
Pulse it for four. Knees, four, three, two, and one. Point those legs straight out, arms above your head, get a good stretch. Our next move, our arms are out by our side for stability. Legs are gonna come up for four count, down for four count, they're gonna come back up, and then we're gonna lift for four. Really working on those lower abdominals, ready? Set it up, bring it up for four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, take it up. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, two, one, take it down. Stretch it out, little stretch in between, a little bit of relief. Arms to the side, legs come up for four count. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, we lift. Four, three, two, and one. Take it down slow. Four, three, two, one, and stretch. We got that two more times. Take those arms to the side. Legs come up. Four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one. One and up, three, two, now lift. Four, three, two, one. Take them down. Quick stretch. Arms to the side. One more set. Four, three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and up. Three, two, one, and lift. Three, Two, one, take it down. Stretch it out. All right, bring those knees back up. Make sure the bottom part of your back is down on the floor. You don't want to have any opening. Once again, we're going to go ahead and pulse and then knees and arms. Ready for four. Four, three, two, one. Knees. Again, four, three, two, one. Knees, four, four, three, two, and one. Two more rounds, three, two, one, and knees. Last set, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Legs are straight out, arms above your head, stretch it out. We're gonna start our cool down from here on the floor. We're gonna go ahead and bring arms slowly down by the side. Go ahead and turn over to your front carefully. We're gonna take it back up to hands and knees. Go ahead and bring your right foot forward. It's gonna be turned out. You're gonna press right inside the knee. Your left arm comes up and over. That way you feel that stretch. And hold. All right, take both arms down. Push your back side back, your hips come back. You're gonna try and get that whole stretch going down the back of the leg. And hold. Breathing in deep. All right. Bring that knee back, take the other one out. It should be at an angle. Make sure that you're pushing on that inner thigh right inside the knee. Take that right arm up and over. That way you feel it even through that hip flexor right here. Breathe in deep through the nose and out through the mouth. All right. We're gonna take those hands down, push those hips back. Try not to round that back. Try to make sure it's neutral, neutral spine, neutral neck. Get that stretch all the way down. We come back to the knees. We're going to take it back up onto the balls of our feet. Take a hip width step apart. Roll it up. Tucking that chin. Head is the last. Let's go ahead and get that quad stretch. 
If you can, hold on to something for balance or find your balance. Grab that right ankle, pull that heel to your backside. If you want a little more, knees together, push the hips slightly forward. Other side, find that left ankle. All right, knees come close together. Take those hips a little forward if you can. Foot comes down. Let's get that right shoulder. Bring the arm across the front. Hold gently so that you have that stretch to the shoulder and the top part of your back. Let's open up. Bring that left arm across. Open up. Let's get that tricep. Take the right arm straight up. Reach for the top of the back and go ahead and give a little press right below that elbow. Let's get that other tricep. Take it straight up and down. Press right below that elbow. All right, let's inhale deeply and take it down one time. Sitting it back. Inhale, exhale. Let's get one more time, sit it down. Bring those feet together. All right, we made it through a great workout. If you have any comments for us, please be certain to leave them below. Have a great day.